Hi guys, this is Anthony Johnson from India. Um, I'm just going to take you to a crash course on creating a web service using Eclipse. And also I'm going to use two Eclipse plugins. One Eclipse plugin is for deploying your web service and one more plugin is to how to generate a client stuff from the deployed web services okay before getting to assume from some so I assume something like you have worked with Eclipse Java before and also you have installed the Tomcat Apache Tomcat on your computer and also like um, you have downloaded Apache access and deployed it into your computer okay then fine I think um, you had uh, deployed that uh, access to dot var into your uh, Apache servlet container for more details on how to deploy your um, and install that access just go, mm, go to apache access to home page and follow the tutorials okay then okay fine before going to the tutorial just um, start your apache services okay this is going to be a very crash course like i'm just going to some show you some samples that i had written already okay fine see this is hello world project and then i just created a package with com.web and one more thing is like this is just a small um a web service that i'm going to deploy into that apache service container using um the techlips plugin okay just i have written only one method like say hello whatever the method um string that a user is passing through that web service it will just prepend hello to that message and it will return back to that um, the client so okay this is a small java program this is the one package only one file is there okay then fine after this thing you have to go to new and then other okay fine these are all the two um plugins that, uh, that will be very useful for deploying your web services okay when you start with when you start landing the web services on um, apache um, access okay then first thing is like a code generator this is uh, we will be seeing this in part two and first one i'm what i'm going to show you is like a, a access to service or whatever like oh, how why it is um, for like whatever the service that you are deploying or have written whatever the class that you have written it will deploy this onto your servlet container as a web services okay just click on access to service of cover and click next and then just um, this is a um, my workspace hello hello world and bin you have to point to the place where the class files are there obviously this is the um, in your workspace this is the project hello world and bin then you just um, click next and skip visual visual uh, like um, um, it's like a this plugin will create a visual for you okay if you want to skip the creation of visual you can click um skip if you want to create a visual for the for yours you can you can go you if, if you want to give a own visual file file name you can give for this for uh, as of now just for this process we are just going to skip the creation of visual and then we can skip this thing and then just go this is uh, another window that the server so you can add external libraries if you have used any external libraries in your project that you can add it to the add you have to browse and add those libraries here since we are not making use of any other external libraries i'm going to skip this part as well just go here and um, this is a service.xml mm, it is you can um, and get the tool generate uh, service.xml for you i think i assume that you know the service.xml is uh, is needed for uh, deploying any web services into access to access to um apache access to container okay then uh, you just click next okay this is fine just give a service name like a uh, hello world service and class name com dot web dot hello world service whatever we have written com web hello world service and just you can check load if you check um if you click load it will load load all the public methods in the web services let's say we have um, say hello here it is say hello and return type is string only one parameter so then click next and then output file location it, it is output file name you can give hello world service an output file location one more thing important is where to deploy your um, uh, web services like you just have to point to the place where you have deployed um, installed app access to okay normally it will be in um, apache installation folder click the program files 
Apache Instructor Well, Indian Tomcat and the apps and then um, access to Bibin services in the services folder only we will be deploying all the web services click ok then finish your it, it is deployed your um, web service is ready how to test it like open any um, this is the localhost access to if you just see access to if you had installed access to thing it will show you this is access to home page in um, uh, Tomcat if you click the services it will show you all the see we have whatever we have written um, we, we have it, it has deployed directly onto the um, folder actually you see that uh, archiver file hello world service you know, that plugin will copy this archiver from directly to the this folder when you click the list services it shows hello world service okay so if you want to see the visual file generated just click and then it will show you um, the whistle file that has been generated it automatically generated that whistle see how cool the tool is like and also the location where that um, service is available um, and also the, the service or the operation um, that is available for the, under this um, particular hello world web services like uh, you can see it uh, in the service like um, um, yeah this is a uh, pure uh, visual file that um, okay this is a uh, mm, we, we have reached the end of part one here I showed you how to write a simple program and deploying that web service onto your Eclipse uh, um, onto your uh, Tomcat okay then um, we will see how in uh, part two how to convert how to write a stub on um, client stub from the visual that we have generated using the same using the another plugin that will create the stub from this particular visual file and uh, you can write your own write your own client stubs on um, to um, call this particular uh, hello world say hello method and you, you can write a um, you can pass a string that will write, you can see how it is the web service is returning um, that um, uh, string back to your client thank you